Airline Reservation Systems are part of the so-called Passenger Service Systems (PSS), which are applications supporting the direct contact with the passenger. ARS eventually evolved into the Computer Reservations System (CRS). A computer reservation system is used for the reservations of a particular airline and interfaces with a global distribution system GDS which supports travel agencies and other distribution channels in making reservations for most major airlines in a single system. Topic overview Airline reservation systems incorporate airline schedules, fare tariffs, passenger reservations and ticket records. An airline's direct distribution works within their own reservation system, as well as pushing out information to the GDS. The second type of direct distribution channel are consumers who use the Internet or mobile applications to make their own reservations. Travel agencies and other indirect distribution channels access the same GDS as those accessed by the airline reservation systems, and all messaging is transmitted by a standardized messaging system that functions on two types of messaging that transmit on SITA's high-level network HLN. These messaging types are called Type A usually EDIF -ACT format for real-time interactive communication and Type B TTY for informational and booking type of messages. Message construction standards set by IATA and ICAO, are global, and apply to more than air transportation. Since airline reservation systems are business critical applications, and they are functionally quite complex, the operation of an in house airline reservation system is relatively expensive. Prior to deregulation, airlines owned their own reservation systems with travel agents subscribing to them. Today, the GDS are run by independent companies with airlines and travel agencies being major subscribers. As of February 2009, there are only four major GDS providers in the market, Amadeus, Travelport which operates the Apollo, Worldspan and Galileo systems, Sabre and Shares. There is one major regional GDS, Abacus, serving the Asian market and a number of regional players serving single countries, including Travelski China, Infini and Access both Japan and Topaz South Korea. Of these, Infini is hosted within the Sabre complex, Access is in the process of moving into a partition within the Worldspan complex, and Topaz agencies will be migrating into Amadeus. Reservation systems may host ticketless airlines and hybrid airlines that use e ticketing in addition to ticketless to accommodate code shares and interlines. In addition to these standardized GDS, some airlines have proprietary versions which they use to run their flight operations. A few examples are Delta Zos and Delta Matic Systems and Ed Shares. CETA Reservations remains the largest neutral multi-host airline reservations system, with over 100 airlines currently managing inventory. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Inventory Management. In the airline industry, available seats are commonly referred to as inventory. The inventory of an airline is generally classified into service classes e.g. first, business or economy class and up to 26 booking classes, for which different prices and booking conditions apply. Inventory data is imported and maintained through a schedule distribution system over standardized interfaces. One of the core functions of inventory management is inventory control. Inventory control steers how many seats are available in the different booking classes, by opening and closing individual booking classes for sale. In combination with the fares and booking conditions stored in the fare quote system, the price for each sold seat is determined. In most cases, inventory control has a real-time interface to an airline's yield management system to support a permanent optimization of the offered booking classes in response to changes in demand or pricing strategies of a competitor. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Availability display and reservation (PNR). 
Users access an airline's inventory through an availability display. It contains all offered flights for a particular city pair with their available seats in the different booking classes. This display contains flights which are operated by the airline itself as well as code share flights which are operated in cooperation with another airline. If the city pair is not one on which the airline offers service, it may display a connection using its own flights or display the flights of other airlines. The availability of seats of other airlines is updated through standard industry interfaces. Depending on the type of cooperation, it supports access to the last seat, last seat availability in real time. Reservations for individual passengers or groups are stored in a so-called passenger name record PNR. Among other data, the PNR contains personal information such as name, contact information or special services requests SSRs e.g. for a vegetarian meal, as well as the flights segments and issued tickets. Some reservation systems also allow to store customer data in profiles to avoid data re-entry each time a new reservation is made for a known passenger. In addition, most systems have interfaces to CRM systems or customer loyalty applications aka frequent traveler systems. Before a flight departs, the so-called passenger name list PNL is handed over to the departure control system that is used to check in passengers and baggage. Reservation data such as the number of booked passengers and special service requests is also transferred to flight operations systems, crew management and catering systems. Once a flight has departed, the reservation system is updated with a list of the checked-in passengers e.g. passengers who had a reservation but did not check in no shows, and passengers who checked in, but did not have a reservation go shows. Finally, data needed for revenue accounting and reporting is handed over to administrative systems. Topic: <laughs> Fair quote and ticketing. The fares data store contains fare tariffs, rule sets, routing maps, class of service tables, and some tax information that construct the price. The fare Rules like booking conditions e.g. minimum stay, advance purchase, etc. are tailored differently between different city pairs or zones, and assigned a class of service corresponding to its appropriate inventory bucket. Inventory control can also be manipulated manually through the availability feeds, dynamically controlling how many seats are offered for a particular price by opening and closing particular classes. The compiled set of fare conditions is called a fare basis code. There are two systems set up for the interchange of fares data, ATPCO and CETA, plus some system-to-system -system direct connects. This system distributes the fare tariffs and rule sets to all GDSs and other subscribers. Every airline employs staff who code air fare rules in accordance with yield management intent. There are also revenue managers who watch fares as they are filed into the public tariffs and make competitive recommendations. Inventory control is typically manipulated from here, using availability feeds to open and close classes of service. The role of the ticketing complex is to issue and store electronic ticket records and the very small number of paper tickets that are still issued. Miscellaneous Charges Order MCO is still a paper document. IATA has working groups defining the replacement document, the Electronic Multipurpose Document EMD, as at 2010. The electronic ticket information is stored in a database containing the data that historically was printed on a paper ticket including items such as the ticket number, the fare and tax components of the ticket price or exchange rate information. In the past, airlines issued paper tickets. Since 2008, IATA has been supporting a resolution to move to 100% electronic ticketing. So far, the industry has not been able to comply due to various technological and international limitations. The industry is at 98% electronic ticket issuance today, although electronic processing for MCOs was not available in time for the IATA mandate. Topic: Major systems. 
Topic Other systems USAS application Moonk Book Reservations and Admin System by Moonch. Mobi History Until the 1950s, airline reservations used manual systems at centralized reservation centers, which consisted of groups of people in a room with physical cards that represented inventory, in this case, seats on airplanes. In the late 1950s, American Airlines wanted a system that would allow real-time access to flight details in all of its offices, and the integration and automation of its booking and ticketing processes. It introduced an electronic reservations system, Magnetronic Reservisor, in 1952. In 1964, it developed the Sabre semi-automated business research environment. Sabre's breakthrough was its ability to keep inventory correct in real time, accessible to agents around the world. The deregulation of the airline industry, in the Airline Deregulation Act, meant that airlines, which had previously operated under government set fares ensuring airlines at least broke even, now needed to improve efficiency to compete in a free market. In this deregulated environment, the arse and its descendants became vital to the travel industry. Topic. See also Topic. Further reading Winston, Clifford. The Evolution of the Airline Industry. Brookings Institution Press, 1995. ISBN 0-8157-5843-X. P. 61-62, Computer Reservation Systems. Wardell, David J. Airline Reservation Systems. 1991. Research Paper.